Hi guys, today I am going to show you data prediction using LSTM in federated land. I will just run and explain the code here. So initially we need to load the data. Here we loaded the data. So after that we will be getting the input data as well as the input labels. So once we loaded the data, we are moving to uh, uh, splitting the data for all the clients. Here we have taken totally 5 clients. So we need to share the data to all the five clients so this is the part where we sharing the data to the five clients so once we uh, after finishing the data sharing we are moving to design the lstm model so here we design the lstm model so after that uh, we need to give the learning parameters like learning rate number of epochs everything so once it's completed we are moving to uh, training part here we need to train the train all the clients with the LSTM model so here we can calculate the MSC value also uh, then we are printing the MSC value and the loss value for uh, each and every epoch for all the clients so after that we need to define the global global model here so once the training is completed for all the five local models we need to aggregate it so here we used the fit average that means federated averaging used so here this is the code where we averaging all the weight value of all the five clients so once we got the uh, fed averaging otherwise averaging all the weight values we will be getting the global model so this is the final model that otherwise the aggregated global model of federated learning and then we can take the test data and we can uh, get the prediction values so this is the uh, LSTM with federated learning data prediction. So here you can see the uh, MSE value for all the clients and all epochs. So client number one and client number two up to five clients. So once the training is completed for all the five clients with LSTM model, finally we will aggregate it. So finally we can display the original data points as well as the predicted data. So here you can see the uh, predicted value as well as the original value. So it's not accurate because we have just given the number of epochs 100 only. If you increase the number of epochs you can get the better result. So this is the sample code. We can use it for your application as well. Just now I am just running the code here. So now loading the data, the data has been loaded. Now we are going for training. So here you can see it here. Each and every client is training here. After that, I just we are just displaying the uh, result here. So this is the final result. The blue one is the original one, and the orange one is the predicted one. So I hope you understood everything. So the same thing you can use it for your data, as, uh, your application as well. You can just load the data here. You can give the number of samples and the sequence length. Then uh, it's same only. We can load the LSTM model, training it, then aggregation and the testing. So yeah, you can. I will. I'll show. Uh, I'll share the code there. I'll just give the link. You can use it for your application. Thank you. Thanks for watching. So similar kind of implementation will be charging little amount. So if you want means you can ask me uh, and we will implement everything whatever you want. Thank you. Thanks for watching.